<laughs> Wendy Wolf's birthday. It is Wendy Wolf's birthday and she has invited all her friends to a party. Happy birthday, Wendy. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Mr Wolf is blowing up balloons for the party. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow these balloons up. <laughs> I love balloons. <laughs> me too. And me. And me. And me. Everybody loves balloons. <laughs> Come on, let's dance. <laughs> Here is Mrs. Wolf. Who wants bubbles? Me, 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 me. Okay, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow some bubbles. <laughs> I love bubbles. They are a bit like balloons, but they pop when you touch them. Watch. Woo! See, I popped one. <laughs> We can always make some more bubbles. Who wants to go? Me! me, 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 me. <laughs> okay. Hooray! Are you ready? Yes, Mrs. Wolf. You have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. And blow. <laughs> so many bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the sky. Look at that big bubble! That's not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah, and you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um... You howl. Ah Why do you do that? That's what wolves do. We howl at the moon. Wendy, can you teach us how to do that? OK. First, you have to look up at the moon. And then you howl. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Wendy Wolf has taught everyone how to howl like a wolf. Ow! 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 Wow! Who did that one? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't any of us. Ow! It's a wild animal! Ah! Ow! It is Granny Wolf. Happy birthday, Wendy. Hello, Granny. You must all be Wendy's friends. How do you do? Hello, Hello Granny Wolf. <coughs> My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf. <laughs> all the better to hear you with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. All the better to eat birthday cake. <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> Wendy, what's that in the middle of your cake? It is a little house made of sticks. Ah! Time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> You've blown the stick house down. Oh, well done. That's my goal. It was quite easy. <laughs> Houses made of sticks are easy to blow down. I always forget. What's your house made of, Mr Pig? It's made of bricks. Not straw. Bricks. Oh, of course. <laughs> that was a great party, Wendy. Yes, that was my best party ever. Oh. 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 <laughs> Happy birthday, Wendy! <laughs> <laughs> Naughty tortoise! It is a lovely autumn day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the leaves. Look! It's Tiddles the tortoise! Hello, Tiddles! What are you doing here? Tiddles! Tiddles! It is Dr Hamster, the vet. Here's Tiddles! Thank goodness you found him. Oh, naughty tartice. Back in your box. 
it's your bedtime. It's not bedtime yet. It's bedtime for Tiddles. He sleeps all through the winter and wakes up in spring. That sounds nice. You like sleeping, don't you, Pedro? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Tiddles? Tiddles has run away. <gasps> Look, he's up that tree. Oh, Tiddles, I don't know why you like climbing trees. <laughs> How are we going to rescue Tiddles? Chop the tree down. <laughs> no. I'll ring the fire brigade. Fire service? What's that? Tortoise up a tree? Again? We're on our way. Stand clear. Fire engines use ladders to rescue pets from trees. Come on, Tiddles. Tiddles is climbing higher in the tree. Come here, you little pickle. Mummy Cow is climbing into the tree. Be careful, Mummy Cow. Oh, dear. I'm stuck. Cows are not very good at climbing trees. Hang on. I'm coming up. Here, Tiddles. Oh! I'm stuck too. Elephants are not very good at climbing trees. Well, that didn't work, did it? What are we going to do now? Chop the tree down. No! no! I'll call the next rescue service. Hello! Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Hello? Tiddles the tortoise. He's up a tree. Tortoise up a tree? Again? I'll be right there. Hmm. <laughs> How do you get tortoises out of trees? Chop the tree down! Yes, let's chop the tree down. No! OK, I'll climb up instead. Hooray! <laughs> oh! I seem to be stuck. Dogs are not very good at climbing trees. Now can we chop the tree down? No. We'll have to call the highest rescue service in the land. OK, I'm on my way. It is Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Hello, everyone. Let's rescue this tortoise. Uh, who's flying your helicopter? Oops. Silly me. I'll just put the autopilot on. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Got you, you little rascal. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for saving my Tiddles. No problem, Mom. Thank, Thank you, you for, for saving, saving us, us too. too. Just doing my job. Goodbye. Eh, uh, haven't you forgotten something? What? Oh, yes! My helicopter! <laughs> Goodbye, everyone! <laughs> Goodbye! What a naughty tortoise you are. <sighs> oh, good. You're sleepy now. Back in your box. Sleep well, Tiddles. Tiddles has gone to sleep for the winter. He will wake again in the springtime. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Lost keys. Pepper and her family have been for a lovely day out in the mountains. Time to go home. Back to the car. Thank you for visiting the mountain beauty spot. See you again soon. <laughs> no, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. Keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig. Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. 
the stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr Pool and his friends. Digger! Crane! George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Mr, Mr Bull. Bull. Welcome to the mountain beauty spot. Have you come to do some work? No! It's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back. That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the chief. Did you find our keys? No. <gasps> the crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road! Hooray! Mr Bull is digging up the beauty spot. Stop! What's going on? We came to see the beauty spot. Uh, they're digging it up right now. Won't be long. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh. Hold it! Hold it! It's the keys! We've got them! Hooray! There you go! Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, it was nothing. Uh, where's the beauty spot gone? The mountain beauty spot is now a big hole. It's a cave now! Welcome to the cave beauty spot. Ooh! All thanks to my daddy. Uh, and Mr Bull. Yes! I'm good at digging holes. Mr Bull loves digging holes. <laughs> Everybody loves digging holes. <laughs> the Aquarium. Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Goldie isn't eating. She looks a bit sad. I think she is lonely. She hasn't got any fish friends. Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium. What's the aquarium? The aquarium is a place where there are lots of fish. Shall we go to the aquarium, Goldie? <laughs> that means yes. The family have brought Goldie the fish to the aquarium. I hope we can find Goldie a friend. I'm sure we will, Peppa. The aquarium has every type of fish. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. How many tickets, please? Two grown-ups and two children. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. Does the aquarium have every type of fish? Oh, yes. Probably. Good. We're looking for a friend for Goldie. Well, I hope you find one. Enjoy the aquarium. Thank, Thank you. you. The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fish 
fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No, they are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? I saw. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> hello, Miss Rabbit! That was the last fish tank. We haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the Aquarium Cafe. Oh, goody. My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Ho, oh, oh. ho. It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! And Goldie can visit Ginger anytime she wants. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig is fixing a big mirror onto the bathroom wall. Lovely. <coughs> George thinks there is another little piggy in the bathroom. It's a mirror, George. Mirrors are shiny. That's why you can see yourself. <laughs> George, what are you doing? George is looking at himself in the big shiny mirror. <coughs> it is very shiny. <coughs> Come on, George. Let's find some more shiny things. <laughs> Daddy, we're looking for shiny things to see ourselves in. Have a look in a spoon. Ooh. Peppa and George can see their faces in the shiny spoons. <laughs> Our faces look funny. Now, turn the spoon around. I'm upside down. And turn it round again. Now I'm the right way up. How does that work, Daddy? It's simple, Pepper. Concave surfaces reflect light waves inversely to their origin. And... Is it magic? Uh, yes, it's magic. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Susie. Look at that. <laughs> it's a spoon. It's a shiny spoon. Look, I can make you go upside down. <laughs> Ooh, how does that work? It's magic. My daddy says so. Ah, let's find some more magic shiny things in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> 
George has found a muddy puddle. Ooh! It's shiny enough to see our faces. I can see the sky. There's a cloud. <laughs> Here are Pedro Pony and Danny Dog. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Did you drop something in that puddle? No. We're looking at the sky. But the sky is in the sky. <laughs> Look at this spoon. That's my face. It looks funny. Whoa! Now I'm upside down. How does that work? It's a funny magic mirror spoon. <laughs> I know where there are some big funny mirrors. Really? Wobbly mirrors in a tent. Where are these wobbly mirrors? At the fair. The parents have brought the children to the fair. Roll up, roll up. See my amazing wobbly mirrors! <laughs> the tent is full of big wobbly mirrors. Ooh, what's happened to my body? <laughs> <laughs> You're a wobbly jelly! <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble! How does it do that, Daddy? It's very simple. Illusions of optical differentials by convex and concave surfaces generate patterns... So it's magic? Uh, yes. It's magic. Look at me! <laughs> I've gone all squishy! <laughs> I've got a long neck, like a giraffe. <laughs> this mirror looks normal to me. Daddy! Where's your big tummy gone? What tummy? <laughs> <laughs> it is Mummy Rabbit with her baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, sister. How are you today? Very good, sister. Mustn't chat for long, though. I've got customers inside the tent. Aren't the mirrors amazing, Daddy Pig? Wow! I can see two of you. What do you mean? I can see you in the mirror. But there's no mirror. Is it magic? Silly Daddy, it's Miss Rabbit and Mummy Rabbit. Oh! I suppose we do look a bit the same. Well, we, we are, are sisters. sisters. <laughs> <laughs> the Tooth Fairy. Pepper and George are having their favourite food, spaghetti. <laughs> what a lot of noise! Finished! Ah, now we'll have a bit of quiet. <laughs> What's that? It's a tooth. Where did that come from? <laughs> Pepper, maybe you should look in the mirror. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's my tooth. It's fallen out. Don't worry, Pepper. It's just a milk tooth. They're meant to fall out. Will I grow a new one, Mummy? Yes, you will, Pepper. It also means the Tooth Fairy will be paying you a visit. Tooth Fairy? Yes, the Tooth Fairy. If you put the tooth under your pillow tonight, the Tooth Fairy will come. The Tooth Fairy will take the tooth and in its place, she will leave a shiny coin. When I grow up, I want to be a Tooth Fairy. Oh, <laughs> and what would you like to be when you grow up, George? I'm sure. <laughs> a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, George, it's bedtime. We don't want to miss the tooth fairy. Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. Pepper, what are you doing? I'm brushing my tooth so it's nice and clean for the tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper cannot wait to get into bed. Pepper is putting her tooth under the pillow. For the Tooth Fairy. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Mummy. <laughs> Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies.
George, I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> Let's both stay awake all night and see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> This Tooth Fairy is very late. Huh. The Tooth Fairy is taking a long time to arrive. Where is that Tooth Fairy? What is that noise? Is it the Tooth Fairy? George, can you hear something? Oh, George. Oh, the noise is George. He was so tired he has fallen asleep. George is not very good at staying awake, but I am. I'm going to stay awake and see the Tooth Fairy. But I'm not going to sleep. <coughs> the Tooth Fairy has arrived. <coughs> but Pepper is asleep. Hello, Pepper. Would you like this coin in return for your tooth? <coughs> What a nice clean tooth. Thank you, Peppa. Good night. Peppa, George, wake up. It's morning. <gasps> what? Uh, I wasn't asleep. Did the tooth fairy come? No. Let's take a look under your pillow. Oh, look, Peppa. The tooth fairy has been and she's left you a coin. <laughs> you fell asleep, didn't you? Well, maybe I fell asleep just for a little bit. <coughs> Next time, I will stay awake and I will see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Frogs and worms and butterflies. <laughs> Peppa and George are helping Grandpa Pig in his garden. <laughs> wow! Ooh. What a beautiful butterfly. Grandpa, why do butterflies like flowers? They get their food from flowers. How? They have very long tongues. Look at mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. The butterfly's tongue is even longer than yours. She uses it to drink from the flower. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh Peppa, the butterfly thinks you're a flower. <laughs> I'm not a flower. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> she is so pretty. I want to be a butterfly. <laughs> Pepper is playing at being a butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> George wants to play too. <laughs> George, I'm the butterfly. You have to be something else. I know. You can be a wriggly worm. <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. <laughs> Oh dear. George does not want to be a worm. He wants to be a butterfly. George, when I was a little piggy, I used to like playing at being a worm. It's very easy to be a worm. I'll show you how. First, you have to lie down on the ground. Then, you wriggle around. Ha <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> George and Grandpa Pig are having such fun being wriggly worms. <laughs> I'm a little butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. Yes, Peppa, you're a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Grandpa, George, what are you doing? We are wriggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a wriggly worm too. I'm a wriggly worm. 
<laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wiggly worm. I'm a wiggly worm. How do you do? I love you. I'm a wiggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. What animal do you want to be now? Hmm, I don't know. <coughs> Look, Grandpa, there's a little frog. <coughs> Why don't you play at being frogs? Hmm, frogs are not as pretty as butterflies or as wiggly as worms. But frogs do play a game you like. Hmm. Do frogs play dolls' houses? <laughs> Silly Pepper. What's your favourite game? Jumping in muddy puddles. <coughs> yes, frogs love jumping in muddy puddles. <coughs> yes, George. Let's play frogs. <coughs> I'm a little froggy. <coughs> I'm a little froggy. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> the froggies have found a nice big muddy puddle to play in. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Butterflies and worms are very nice, but I like frogs the best. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.